Hello, my name is Michael Arnold with Advanced Home Care Operations Specialist, and today I would like to talk to you about your electrical bed and what to do in the event of a power failure. Now let's talk about what type of bed you may have. A lot of times we refer to electrical beds as fully electric or semi-electric. Fully meaning that the bed height can be raised up and down with the motor. Semi meaning you have to manually crank the bed up and down for the height. The very first thing you'll need to do is unplug your electrical bed from the outlet or power source. Then you'll need to locate your emergency crank. It can be either located at the footboard, underneath your mattress, or on the floor underneath your electrical bed. Now that you've located your emergency crank for your electrical bed, let's take a few minutes to look at the crank. This end is going to be for your bed height, and this end is going to be for your motor. Right side of the bed is going to operate the foot, and the left side is going to operate the head. Now I'm going to adjust the foot to my desired height. Simply attach it to the end of the motor. When you turn it to the right, the foot will start to raise. Turn it to the left, and the foot will go down. Now to adjust the height of the bed, you will need to remove this rubber cap. Place the other end of your crank in the center part of the shaft. You will need to turn it. to the right in order to raise the bed to its desired height. Again to the left to lower, just like the motors. I would like to thank you for watching this video tutorial on electrical beds. And also, thank you for choosing Advanced Home Care. Advanced Home Care. Home Care is our business. Caring is our specialty. Advanced Home Care. Home Care is our business. Caring is our specialty. When your care is advanced, your recovery is enhanced. Advanced Home Care. specialty. Hello, my name is Michael Arnold with Advanced Home Care Operations Specialist, and today I would like to talk to you about your electrical bed and what to do in the event of a power failure. Now let's talk about what type of bed you may have. 